up, Big Brother fans? <laughs> yeah, baby. This is finale going on tonight, y'all. And I got something for you. But first, this is for Maka TV. And I am the one that's been bringing you all the Big Brother news, baby. So go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. So first, take a quick look at this. Just in case you missed it. Missed it. Because <laughs> I got another banger for you. So Jordan was staring at me this whole season. And, um, and now I fully really appreciate her experience and her win on season 11 because when you're on the outside of an alliance it is difficult to navigate your way through the game now i she now i fully understand it's almost like big brother karma slapped me in the face this season and said oh bitch you're gonna recognize jordan's game and that's what happened and i experienced how it is to be on the outs i experienced how it was to be put as a pawn status and nominated multiple times and uh like kudos to Jordan. That was like, that was like a moment. Like I remember sleeping in the house and I was like, oh my God, like Jordan's like staring into my soul right now. And um, it was like a big brother karma saying, hey, wake up. You should, you should really recognize her win on season 11. So Danny ruined an all girl alliance. Did she? Um, Memphis and Christmas kissed for real or are you guys lying because that's like do you think Tyler is genuine oh my gosh so I am so grateful there's many people to have grateful to meet Tyler is one of them I thought his ass was fake in the house because I was like there is no way this guy is like claiming to be what he's doing and so in the jury house is where people kind of start to act a little bit more normal because there's not cameras around and that's how I came to the conclusion that Davon and I are, are maybe maybe not um, compatible because it's like once the cameras are off, we're kind of different. And um, Tyler was the same dude. He's like this very kind, considerate, like uh, person in the jury house. Like he was just always positive vibes. Anytime somebody would bring up negative energy like he would redirect it or he would move away or we would like not like he was a person that um many people gravitated to he's like a magnet he's another magnet person so he's a great guy um i was always a tyler fan oh i okay i thought i shitted on tyler i thought like um, when he wanted to, was it for real? Cause he was saying, like, I was asking my husband, I was like, there was a moment where he said he wanted to leave the show. And I was like, lies, deceit, and deception. Like that is like, not true. Um, and so I started to feel like this guy is full of shit. Tyler's like manipulating people. I heard like he used the cause. Davon and Bailey were talking about the cause. So I, I, at one point I was like, Tyler is full of shit. Um, so I completely retract all that because my husband was like, no, I think he actually wanted to leave. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> he actually wanted to leave the show. My bad. He wanted to quit. Yeah. Okay, so that was for real. Oh, my God. See, y'all y'all knew more than I did because I was like, this is fake ass shit. I was like, Okay, here's here's my logic, and I will stand corrected. Again, I've only been out of the house for like twenty four, like less than twenty four hours. So, I was like, if you want to go home, go to the HOH and be like, I'm coming for your ass. Go to the HOH and say, I'm gonna spill all the tea. Go to the HOH and say, if you don't, if you don't come for me first, I'm gonna come for you. Like I would just make it point blank. Do what I did with Cody. Like basically say tit for tat. Like you know, do that if you want to like get evicted. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like explained to me like no but he wanted to get like Devon Bailey fighting or like people to something and I was like it just wasn't adding up to me so that's the reason why I didn't believe it but apparently that was real so my bad I'm sorry um 
He used BL a girl. He did not use BLM. So stop it. Um. Who had a final two with Christmas? Girl, everybody had final twos. Look, how first of all, okay. Totally grateful to be a part of the season, but. Okay, and also to don't just say it because I'm asking this question. Be for real, for real. Like, for real. Did you guys like the fact that there is this alliance just, like, controlling everything? I'm going to read comments. Do not pander to me. Just be honest. Okay. Okay, you guys are... Okay, no... Absolutely not. No, no. Okay, y'all. Okay, you all are just agreeing with me. Stop with that. That is mean. Okay. We wanted underdogs. I saw it. It was. Was it predictable? Okay. I. Mm, I hated it. I hated it. I just was like, this was so messed up. Okay. Okay, cool. Did Devon bully me? Hell no. I was praying for a power shift. Here's the gag of it all. Those who were not in the Alliance couldn't win shit. So that is the problem. We could not win. And when we did, the power was used to the fullest extent. David had a twisty power. He used it and it did shift the game to some degree. Devon had a veto and she used it to the full of it, to the its fullest extent as well. So um that the combination of when when Devon and David used their power together was the most of a shift that we could um muster up. We could not win at HOH. Like um the caliber of this season was incredible. These people are incredible players. They're super athletic, super smart, super strategic, and um those who were not, even Queen Janelle and Kaser couldn't win anything. Like, it's not like, uh, you know, it was like, you know, I felt like it was, it was basically everyone who was not in the major alliance could, could muster win out of this. So um, it just, we couldn't make it happen. And that's why, you know, how sometimes they're like, as a fan, I hated when there's an America's Vote twist where it's like, remember like the coup d'etat on season 11 where they allowed the uh, America to shift the power. Now I get it. This has been a karm, complete karma season for me. Now I get it. Because what that does is it allows for America to shift the power. Kaser was so close to winning, I know. With that ball rolling comp, wasn't that? Like, every, everybody thought he was going to win. Um, why was there no America's vote? Did something happen? What's the tea on that? Because, like, that was so weird. The alliances were all started by white dudes. And it was... Wait, I thought Danny... I thought Danny was a part of that. So, I don't know if it's dudes. Bay and Day thought they were in the major alliance. I hated that to treat you like you were the only one who needs to know. I know. I, by the way, I'm obsessed with um, Bailey as well. She is... um the the caliber of uh they did a great job with the female players sometimes like okay i don't want to sound like an ass but like they just like strong athletic smart strategic like there was no one in there who was like i'm cute like help well no no one was doing that maybe people were playing into that but no one was actually that character. And Bailey was another person that I was obsessed with. She, to this day, reminds me of, like, a family member. Um, I just think that... Um, I think I maybe did something to her in the house. Or maybe I actually... I actually maybe I made her feel some kind of way. Maybe I accidentally said something because I'm a stupid, awkward, freaking potato. Um, but for some reason, she started to get a little mean towards me. And so... Um, I don't know why me and um, Bailey could get a little bit closer, but um, I'm obsessed with her too. Like she is, you can just sit around her and be entertained and educated at the same time. Like who does that? 
like Bailey does. So it's like, and she doesn't rely on her appearance. She doesn't have, like, she can look sickening in a snap. And um, she did not, that's not what she's all about. So. Um, wait, Kevin, did you see the tweet where an entire huge, all the people were so excited to see Nicole be evicted? <laughs> okay. Um, Bailey. Because I said I would fuck Swaggy. Oh my God. Did I say that? Oh my God. Okay, my bad. Okay. Um, is that Parker? Oh, I knew. Wait, is that real Parker? Because like... It is. I'm obsessed with Parker. Hi, Parker. Um, I definitely would love to do Rob Has a Podcast. Can you guys let me know, though, what... um, what yeah, It is you, Parker. Obsessed with you. I still remember you were the first face that I saw on season 11 when I got evicted. You were like, boom, right there. So, um, And you're hilarious. And I'm glad to see that... You got a husband too. Um, okay. Uh, who were my favorite people to hang out in jury? I actually, uh, I really liked hanging out with David. I really liked hanging out with Tyler. I really liked hanging out with um, um, Ian. Um, Ian, he's going to hate this. But Ian reminds me of Ronnie from season 11. But, like, don't tell Ian that. <laughs> um, did David and Memphis have a relationship in the jury house? No, they didn't talk at all. Um, why didn't anyone listen to the wall yellers? Um, like... Yeah. Um. Oh, I said Casey reminded me of Ronnie. Oh, my bad. My bad. No, Casey doesn't remind me of Ronnie. The reason why Ian reminds me of Ronnie is because, like, Ronnie would just incessantly talk about the game in, like, every single angle. Like, okay, this, 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 like he would like inspect it from all different angles and he would just sit there and be like listening to Ronnie talk forever. I remember on the season and that's what would happen with Ian. Like in the jury house, I would just sit there and talk to him and he would just talk about game theory, like all the different angles. And that's the reason why he reminds me. Not, not, not more than that. Not like a personality. Oh my God. Like am I flexible? Yeah, bitch. Okay. Um, Ronnie had my back this season. I'm obsessed with Ronnie. He's, he's another person that he contacted. Okay. So he texted me, uh, when I was in sequester and I had to lie to him. I'm sorry, Ronnie. Cause he was like, are you in sequester? And I was like, bitch, no. Um, what is my problem with Davon? I have no problem with Davon whatsoever. Um, I do not have dusty feet. Okay, what more tea do you want to know then? Um, Kaser's not a snob. Okay, okay, I... Okay. Oh, shit. They, should, they Okay, y'all heard me talk about that. Uh, my bad. He is... I... Okay. Do, do you think Danny likes Cody more? Oh, my God. Stop being messy. Stop that. Um... Christmas in Memphis. Okay, you guys are, you know, no more tea than, okay, whoa. Well, um, so Christmas did not stay in jury house. So, but we, they, we, um, we did see each other in the CBS lot in a holding room. And I noticed that they were like, um, like, um, like, like really close next to each other like like I'm talking like physical proximity 
Um, so I was like, damn, y'all are like really close. What happened when the feeds went down for a day? It went down for a full day. Okay, I probably know. They bonded over being anti-black. Parker, you are a mess. Strop. Um, they were always hugging and stuff. And that's not a thing. That's not a thing. Um, oh, me and Day were on the hammock and they shut the feeds down. Oh my God, that's a conversation for another day. That is a conversation for another day. I Apparently a whole thing wasn't shown, so I will... Um, POCs were on the block every week. Did Memphis talk to Ian about making fun of him? Okay, so... No. But Ian was aware of it. And Ian was hurt by it. Um, so... And I was not aware of it. So I didn't know this conversation, but we had all began to put together a, a picture of something happened about Ian and um, and he was actually very hurt by it. I ratted out Janelle to Nicole. I don't know what that means. Okay. I'm scared to take a video request because I see these requests to join a video and I feel like it would be a mess. I might do a video, but like if it's a mess, I can't. Um, okay, Nicole didn't say anything about Ian. She just laughed. About what? I don't know what happened. Y'all tell me. Um, what was the fight between Bailey and Christmas? Was the fight between Bailey and Christmas shook up? I don't know what that means. Um, who's Cat? Cat? Like, no, I'm obsessed with her. Where is she? Okay. Where are these requests? Girl, I like... See all. What the fuck? Um. Okay, I was so wanting to see Kat in the house because I feel like I would have, she would have shook things up. We needed a little shaking in that house. Alexander Dean, here's your shout out. Thanks for being a fan of Big Brother. Um, doesn't Kat have a show? I feel like I would do her show. Um, well, it says 26 people want to do a video request to me, but I'm like... <laughs> I'm just going to randomly pick somebody. Go, beesh. Let's see if that works. Did you ever touch? Hi. Oh my God. Hi, how are you? What's your name? I couldn't read your name. I'm Kira. I'm Kira. Kira. Oh yeah. Gosh. I've clicked on your picture because you look so pretty in your profile. <laughs> Thank you so much. For to watch Did you me. like the season? I loved it. You were my favorite. So, Stop. I mean, I was so upset no, that you didn't win. No, don't. Do, you do not have to patronize me on this situation. I just went. No, I'm serious. You were my favorite. What was your favorite moment in this season, though? Like, because I haven't watched it yet. Uh, that's hard. That's hard. Um, probably when you won that, um, that oh. veto 
competition. I love how you're saying something that it was involved me. You do not have to say something that involves me. But <laughs> yes, the the puppet master. No, I'm dead serious. I am serious. Kira, would you do Big Brother? I would. So that's actually my goal one day because I'm actually uh, autistic. So I want to like prove to people that I can do things yes. like that. Um. So um, I yes. want to be able to show them. Inspired did you people. love Ian's story? Yeah. Ian shared that he's on the spectrum. I did. Oh my gosh. I love him. That He inspires me and so do you because you actually inspired me to come out as bisexual. So I've been open Explain about it, it now. Shout it. And, um, out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Okay. Well, I just wanted to say hello so that, and thank you so much for being supportive and thank you for watching. And I'm going to watch you. Of course. Thank I'm going to watch so you much. soon. Thank you so okay. much. That means a lot to me. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it can't get any better than this, y'all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in all this time, y'all. From August 5th to now, baby. If you hadn't done so, hit the subscribe button, baby. What are you waiting on? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, baby. I'm peace. And I'm out.